What is up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with another NASCAR Authentics Diecast Review. Yes, I almost got you guys uh, thinking there for a second. But yeah, this is another car that I ironically didn't pick up in my latest What's Stores video. But I literally picked this car up as soon as I went to Walmart, right after I did my uh, live uh, video recording, live stream. That's how you say it, Brian. Jesus. Whatever. Fuck it. It's live. <laughs> but you guys know what I'm talking about if you uh, guys or subscribe to this channel. I did a live stream video here on YouTube of me being outside of O-Series Collectibles. And after that, I promised myself I'd go to Walmart to find this diecast, and luckily I found it. And that is going to be a uh, pretty cool to go ahead and talk about this car because let's go ahead and show it and shut up. Today it's on Bubba Wallace's 2020, not 2021, 2020, DoorDash Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 1LE for Bridge Betty Motorsports. Like I said, I picked this car up at Walmart. It's not the live color variant, but don't worry. This uh, I do have another Bubba Wallace car that is live color. Um, you know, bam! There it is right there. But anyways, enough of me showing that off. <laughs> what a beautiful diecast is this, guys. But I noticed one thing. There is an error on this packaging. Can you guess what it is? Well, if I remember, if I remember correctly, DoorDash was uh, not the sponsor of Bubba Wallace during the, all, during the uh, not all-star race. Jesus Christ. Can I read today? During the throwback race, so Lionel, uh, they just got very lucky and they said, "Hey, let's just uh, let's just put the throwback uh, decal slash logo on all the packaging because you know no one's not going to notice." Well, guess what? I noticed, and I must say, um, I'm quite disappointed in you, Lionel. But then and when I can't be disappointed because I get a free magnet. So hey, whatever. But this is a beautiful diecast, guys. In all seriousness, seriousness. And on the back, we actually got you know. A correct showing of the packaging. I'm looking at you, Kyle Bush. <laughs> if you guys saw my Kyle Bush review of the throwback card, then you know what I'm talking about. Collect them all, which, you know, they should be at your Walmarts and hopefully Targets very soon. And let's go ahead and unbox the bad boy and take a look at the DoorDash car driven by Mr. Bubba Wallace. Alrighty, guys, get this diecast out of this box. And before getting started on this diecast review, let's go ahead and look at the free accessory that comes with it. I can't stress that enough that Lionel advertises these things as free because, you know, if I had to pay for a freaking, you know, magnet or a sticker, oh, I'd be one angry motherfucker. Well, not as angry as me, uh, you know, with the Aftershocks car, which, by the way, I still have that damn sticker of uh, me peeling off the Aftershocks 187. Whew, talk about dreadful memories. Hopefully we won't see any sticker peeling in this review. But um, yeah, very basic, and I mean very bare and basic uh, magnet we got right here. But DoorDash, we got the DoorDash stripes. 43, and Bubba Wallace. And on the back is nothing because it's a magnet. So, you know, magnet away. <laughs> Anyways, back to the diecast, guys. Uh, my camera is making this look like an orangish color, but it's like a day glow red. Like, it, it's, a, it's a very bright red. So the camera is really fooling you guys. Oh, this car looks orange. No, it's about as, I wouldn't say as red as that McDonald's logo right there, but it's a nice bright red. Like, maybe like a day glow red. Pro you know what I mean? I mean, not like, a, not like you know, the, the, the type of red that you see on... Um, on on that on the uh, STP cars, but you know it's it's a very bright, vibrant red. Like it's more reddish than pinkish, than orangish. It's really hard to describe. But it, it, if you've seen the DoorDash uh, colors of their logo, then you know what I'm talking about. But very very unique paint scheme, guys. I will admit, and uh, this is actually a pretty good uh, filler car because if you guys know, uh, yeah, uh, the DoorDash car for 2021. Probably one of the most uh, talked about diecasts are going to come out this year because of, you know, Bubba Wallace's fan base growing like crazy this year, which is amazing. I mean, I'm glad to always see new fans, um, no matter, you know, who you are. It's always cool to see new fans in NASCAR, and they're always a great warm welcome. So that's just awesome to hear. But, um, yeah, I mean, we're not going to probably get the, the 2021 DoorDash car until, like, what, like, summertime? So... Even if it makes MOQ, I mean, it's probably going to make MOQ because it is, if I looked at Lionel's website, it's one of the best-selling diecasts that's selling on their website. Um, I don't know if it's sold out yet, but heck, I'll be really surprised if this 2021 car gets canceled because DoorDash is the main sponsor for Bubba Wallace and his new team with Danny Hamlin and Michael Jordan, 23XI Racing. So, But, um, yeah, I mean, this car was actually originally not produced 
uh, last year. It was canceled in uh, the 164 and 124 scale. But I uh, and I believe he drove this car for seven races, starting at the Daytona Road Course. Um, so pretty cool right there. But uh, I think uh, he ran more of this car later in the year. Um, if I remember correctly, I think he actually ran this car in the last three races, which. Uh, can't say they were, he didn't really run the best in the DoorDash car, to be honest with you guys. I mean, it's petty equipment. You don't really expect that much from petty equipment. I mean, they're, they're pretty much at another lost cause again, especially with Worldwide Technologies, leaving them again. So, yeah, there goes their funding right there. Um, especially if you guys know Eric Jones and now the new driver of the 43 car. But, um, by the way, I'm looking forward to that Armor All car, guys. That is going to be beautiful um, to review, but I'm um, probably going to have that thing on pre-order. But yeah, DoorDash also stepped up as the main uh, food uh, service provider for NASCAR, or food delivery service, whatever you want to call it. Is that a goddamn paint chip? It is a paint chip. Oh, right in the middle where that Chevrolet logo is. Oh, lie now, you're killing me. You're killing me, man. That's a nice, bright, white paint chip right there. But, um, oh yeah, I forgot to point this out, guys, as well. Um, since, you know, we are, uh, every time I'm going to be reviewing a Bubba diecast, all right, I am going to point out, I'm going to put out this name tag right here. Bubba. Now, a little funny story about this Bubba card right here. I mean, uh, <laughs> if you guys saw my uh, room tour video, then you're probably wondering, all right, am I a big Bubba fan? Well, I mean, I like Bubba, but... He's not the driver I root for, all right? You know, he's probably in my top 10, you know, you know, because, you know, Bubba's a cool guy. I mean, heck, I do like his personality. <laughs> um, my sister, actually, she uh, calls, she has called me Bubba since day one. I've had her. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's just my nickname I go by. So, all right, let's get, uh, let's get the Bubba, let's get the name Bubba rolling in the chat. And who knows? I probably shouldn't have said that now because I think a lot more people are going to call me Bubba instead of OBB now. But hey, you know, whatever. Um, as long as I can, you know, <laughs> acknowledge it, then it's all good by me. But, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I probably should have thought twice about uh, bringing out that Bubba card. But, uh, hey, whatever, though. You gotta, you gotta, you know, <laughs> you gotta live with it now. But this is a beautiful paint scheme, guys. I mean, I don't really have a card to compare this to, so it's going to be a relatively short review, so no diecast comparison in this one. Sadly, still not a big fan of the McDonald's and the Alsco logo right here. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, um, to be honest with you guys. It just still doesn't look right, especially when you squint. I mean, it just, I don't know why they decided to put the logos right there. I mean, I understand we, there's not much space right here, and there's a big space right here. I understand that, but it just, besides that, guys, I mean, that's the only problem I have with these petty cars is just these random sponsors. Um Looks like, uh, luckily, we're not going to have that issue uh, with this 2021 car. Um, this is a beautiful paint scheme, guys. Not quite, not quite sure what's going on with that B-pillar right there. Um, holy crap, that B-pillar. Yikes. Yikes. That's not even lined up. I think it's actually touching the window, too. Whoo! God, you smell. That is something else. Checking for Andretti. Columbia. Hey, look at that racing stripe, guys. Whoa, it's just me or that racing stripe is actually touching the spoiler. Actually, that racing stripe is inside the spoiler. What on earth? That is quite the illusion, but that is, uh, yeah, that is actually on the spoiler. Wow. Uh, I mean, uh, is this going to be a rant review now? Uh, you know, that's not going to bug me too much. Kind of gives an illusion right there. I mean, the lines are lined up perfectly, but I know. I don't think you got the memo. You're supposed to stop where the spoiler is because last time I checked, there's no decals on the spoilers. Now, the Chevrolet logo is really, really onto that spoiler, too. I mean, God, I think everybody wants to get on with the spoiler today. Whew, goodness gracious. At least we got the Camaro mold, uh, we got the Camaro logos on, like, the Johnson cars, so that's cool. And the B post looks a little bit better on this side right here, but Wallace's name, uh, looking, uh, looking a little weird. Still got this weird outline effect. Whoa, is that the world, what happened to that world technology logo right there? It's literally folded and cut off. More black paint chips right here. Look at this. First we got white paint chips, now black paint chips. Jesus Christ. Is that Air Force logo screwed up too? Um, I'm not sure what's going on right here. So yeah, decal quality. I mean, am I not surprised? Am I not surprised one bit? All right. This is my sarcastic voice coming in now. I'm not surprised one bit. Congratulations, I know. Congratulations. $5 quality is finest. You gotta love it. But you know what, man? Can't hate it anymore. Guess you gotta embrace it because, you know, Lionel's never gonna change. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, yeah, I definitely would recommend picking this car up, especially if you guys find the liquid color variant, because that thing looks beautiful. Um, and from what I've seen so far, I mean, it looks like we're not gonna have that much liquid, uh, so far in the first two waves for NASCAR Authentics 2021, 
We don't have a single chase piece released. So for now, for now, this is like the last chase piece we have for now. All right. I, until, I don't know. I, I know for wave one and wave two, uh, which is the all-star wave and the race version wave for 2021, we don't have any liquid colors because, I don't know. I guess lined up just, I, I don't know what's going on with that. I'll have to get more info about that when I do my wave two reaction because um, that wave has officially leaked now. But we'll get on to more of that later down the road because I feel like it is coming very soon. By the way, I think the All-Star Wave's at Walmart. So, uh, yeah, expect another What's the Stores video coming out of that. And, uh, yeah, beautiful diecast, guys. Definitely recommend picking it up. A good 10 out of 10 of a paint scheme. And, uh, yeah, this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. Thank you, guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this diecast review, this NASCAR Authentics diecast review of Wave 9 2020 for Bubba Wallace's DoorDash 2020. Uh, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 1 LE for Rich Paid Motorsports. Comment, subscribe. This has been OVB. Catch you guys next time on another Diecast Review.